La paix, c'est meilleure victoire, partie 4 à 6, 5, à dans Antimètre d'ici. Parlez en anglais. Have you ever dreamed of a place far away from it all? Where the air you breathe is soft and clean, children play in the fields of green. Where the sounds of guns never power your dreams. These people say to him, do not exalt. Allah does not love the exultant, but seek with what Allah has given you the home of the hereafter and do not neglect your share of this world and be charitable as Allah has been charitable to you and do not seek corruption in the land. Allah does not like the seekers of corruption. That's probably heaven that had told Karun all this to remind them or his people, the good ones in the clan of Moses those who are maybe wise, elderly, or counsel, who has been following Moses and uh, keep his teachings and live a virtuous and simple, moral, God in life. Yeah, his people told him all this. But what did he answer? This he said, I was given all this on account of the knowledge I possess. <laughs> oh. You can expect that already from a rich and famous person. Yes. yes. Yeah, many rich and famous persons are trapped in their grandeur and forget God, forget the decent and moral life. They will sin and they will fall. Yeah, that is the problem. So this guy, Karun, is no exception. He was so proud. and So he said, I was given all this because of the knowledge that I have. He thinks because he's uh, learned. Mm, yes. <laughs> learned and uh, can teach people from books and all that. So people uh, respect him and pay him well, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, that's why he answered us. I continue reading now from the Quran. Did he not know that Allah destroyed many generations before him who were even stronger than he? and possessed greater riches, but the guilty will not be asked about their sins. Oh, that's what his people think, that he should remember that he's just not much compared to many people in older generations. Many people are richer, more powerful, more uh, famous, and more everything. Yes, right, yes. And where are they nowadays? Gone, mm. you see? Yes. Yes. yes, right. Bury under, I told you, one square meter of dirt. Mm. Yes. Even if they were buried, even if they still have one square meter of dirt to lie under. So now, his people voice their opinions like that, but he still was not uh, repentant, he did not wake up. So he went out before his people in all his splendor. He did not change in any way. So, those who desired the worldly life said to themselves, if only we possess the likes of what Karun was given, he is indeed very fortunate. A lot of people envy him, of course, and were thinking, oh, to have such a rich fortune and uh, privilege, ah, so wonderful. But those who were given knowledge said to these uh, desirous people, they said, Woe to you! The reward of Allah is better for those who believe and do righteous deeds. Yet none attains it except the steadfast. So we caused the earth to cave in on him and his mansion. Oh. Oh. I guess it's a big earthquake. Mm. He had no company to save him from Allah. And he could not defend himself. Not at that time, man, not at that time. Whenever God wants you gone, you're gone. By any means possible. Yes, yes, Master. Those who had wished they were in his position the day before now were saying, 
Indeed, indeed. It is Allah who spreads the bounty to whomever he wills of his servants and restricts it when he will. Had Allah not been gracious to us, he would have caved in on us as well. No wonder the ungrateful never prosper. That home of the hereafter, meaning heaven, we assign it for those we, heaven is saying again, we assign it for those who seek no superiority on earth, nor corruption. And the outcome is for the cautious. End of the story. Okay, now we go back to St. Francis to explain, expound the story, yeah? Yes, Master. Even though I think the story is clear enough already, but it is written in like old time style, so maybe it's not uh, that clear in some areas. Now, something like, uh, you see, I, I told you before, Karun, Though he belonged to the clan of Moses, belonged to the clan of the master even. But he didn't believe in the master's teaching of righteousness and moral living. Wow. Mm. Mm. Even then he turned around to oppress them. Probably he has too much power and influence and uh, richness. So he did not treat his clan members well. Mm? Yes. And maybe even oppress them in some way. Like maybe he didn't help them, but made their life even harder, or made them feel more inferior, something like that. So oppression has many forms. Right. And any oppression is not a good way. Heaven had given him treasures. Even the keys of them would weigh down a group of strong men, not just one strong man, but a group of strong men. (laughs) Yeah, but then some wise people counsel him, told him, do not exalt, meaning do not be arrogant. Right. Allah does not love the arrogant. Of course not. Yes, Master. How would Allah love the people who are not righteous, who are not humble, who are not decent, and who are not moral? How? How can God love any of those people? They advise him, do not rely on these uh, temporary possessions and privileges and all that, but seek the home of the hereafter. Seek heaven. Yes. Seek the house of God and do not neglect your share of this world. Meaning he should share his fortune with the less fortunate. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Yes. It's not written very clearly, but that's what I think. Meaning you should save some for yourself, but share what you don't need or the, the... surplus to others who need it. Be charitable as Allah has been charitable to you, of course. Yeah. yeah? God gives you a lot and you give out also. Right. Yeah. That's the way it is. Just like um, a water tank is filled to the brim. It's not for the water tank to hoard it, is it? No. 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 It is for the village to share, right? Yes. 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 So the water tank has to give. The water tank should not Keep holding the water inside, otherwise one day he will bust also. Hmm? Mm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or anything could take the water away. So it's better he distributes it every day through water pipes for other people who need it. Because the water tank has already a lot of water inside. What for he needs more, huh? <laughs> yeah. And what for he keeps it? Because the more he gives, the more it will come back in. Yeah. Yes. Right. It's like that with us also, similar. Hmm? We do what we can with what's given to us. Like if we have talent, we work for Supreme Master Television to help the world, to educate them, to enlighten them to some degree, to give them some knowledge larger than life. Then they can maybe help themselves. Maybe they can wake up. And if we have some money, then we share it with the less fortunate. Yeah, and that's normal. Yes, yes. yes. That's what we're doing anyway. I myself don't consider any money is mine, so whatever is needed, I will use it for those purposes. Yes, yes Master. For the poor people or for the poor in spiritual knowledge. Supreme Master Television is also like a charity. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. The people who are rich are not often rich in spiritual knowledge. So 
So they are also considered poor by me. Mm. Oh. They are very poor. Poorer than the poor. Mm. Because yeah. if you're poor in money or possessions, but your life is enriched by enlightenment, by knowledge of heaven, by the happiness within, because you're enlightened, and you have a master to teach you, then you're richer than any of the rich in the world. Yes, yes master. master. You can see Kabir, he was a weaver only, but how many people revered him at that time yeah. and worship him as a master, and they still do nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Generations afterward. Yeah. And Jesus, he was the son, physically speaking, he was just the son of a carpenter. But how many people revere him at that time, follow him, run after him, for his protection and blessing. And they still do nowadays. Thousands of years after. Right, master. Yes, yes, master. And the Buddha, even though he was a prince, he forsook everything to become just a begging monk. And people still revere him and flock to him. Royalty and government officials and rich people, poor people, they all came to him. And they still do nowadays in front of his status, seeking blessings, seeking knowledge, seeking enlightenment, and following his teachings to the letter. You see what I'm saying? Yes. yes. So richness materially doesn't mean anything, truly, if you're not enlightened. That doesn't mean you can't be rich. It doesn't mean you cannot enjoy your success in a worldly uh, business, but just enough to live on, just necessity. Right. There's no need to hoard it too much for nothing and keep it there in the bank, uh, doing nothing. Yes, yes, yes master. master. And worst of all, not rely on this temporary richness, ephemeral richness, in order to boast, to be arrogant, to act above everyone else. Because you are nothing, really. You're born with nothing. Later, you go also with nothing. That's right. That's true. true. Meanwhile, God gives you some possessions. You should know how to manage them and give some surplus to people in need. That's the way to live. Yes, yes. Master. yes. Master. That's how you should enjoy your richness and manage the God-given possessions. Otherwise, you'll be doomed. If you're rich and you don't help others, you're unfortunate to some degree. You cannot take it with you and you probably go to hell with it because you don't do anything good. Just uh, make it karma, bad karma. In hell, you cannot bribe. You cannot take your money there and give it to the devil there and say, hey, take some money and leave me alone. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. 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 Maybe in our world, in some cases, some people take bribes, maybe do something muddy and let you of your crime or anything, but not in hell. Now, you see, in heaven, there are no problems, no disasters, no troubles at all, and no concurrence, and no political uh, smearing campaigns, anything. Because the mentality of people or beings in heaven is different than ours. See, they don't compete. They don't care anymore at that time. They were heavenly people. And that's why heaven doesn't ever have disaster or pandemic. Have you ever heard of any heaven that the Buddha talked about having any pandemic? No. 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 <laughs> Earthquake? No. Huh? No, because they're in heaven, they don't have earth there. <laughs> 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 no, it's not that. What I mean is no disaster, nothing strikes them because mm. there's no such bad energy to attract such or to create such a mishap. Yes. yes. Uh, All right. Waiting to be found There's lost horizon Where the sounds of guns Never found We would do a lot better if we move toward more plant-based foods for the benefit of curbing the number one killer diseases in America. Harvey Lewis, vegan. <laughs>